as you've probably been able to tell, mixins give us a lot of power and let us do a lot of things inside of less. So far, we've looked at mixins that pass in one value, but we can do more. We can actually pass in multiple values. So let's take an example where we want to determine the width of an element. Now, sometimes we'll pass in a width, but sometimes we also have a min and a max, and we want to specify that to keep things consistent between different elements and as we specify it. So what I want to do is up where I have my other mixins I've already created, I'm going to create a new mixin. I'm going to call this width. I'm going to pass in a parameter and call this min, and then I'm going to pass in a second parameter. Now to separate it out so less knows the difference between the first and the second parameter, I can either use a comma or a semicolon. Less recommends that you use a semicolon. So I'm going to use a semicolon here. I'm going to call this max, but I want to give it a default value. My default value I've used before, I simply put a colon in the value I want to see, 100%. Now I'm going to put my curly braces just like I would with any other CSS rule, especially like I am with mixins. Now I'm going to specify my min width. And I'll use the min variable that gets passed in. On the next line, I'm going to specify my CSS rule for my max width. And once again, I'm going to use a variable that may or may not be passed in because remember, I do have that default value. I can come down to where I'm currently using a min and max width. You see I have separate values. We're just going to comment those out, because we're not going to need them anymore. Because here, we're going to specify width. Now, in this case, our min is first, so we're going to specify 350 pixels and a maximum width of 1,050 pixels. Save this, go back into our browser, reload. We don't see any difference. If we switch back to our text editor, we can see that this works by simply going in and changing our width value. I'll change our maximum width to be only 650 pixels, for example. So our width will try to be 80%, but our width will have a minimum value. It'll have to be at least 350 pixels and it has a maximum value. It cannot, in this case, be more than 650 pixels. I'm going to switch back to our browser, and if I reload it, you'll notice that it's now using that max width where we've gone up too far, and it's stopping us. So we can easily go in and control this for any element that we want to specify a min and a maximum value to make sure it fits within a certain area, simply by using this mixin that supports multiple parameters. And we can do this in many, many cases.